you drink, you drank. You drank last night or today. You drank alcohol. Did you drink? Yes. Eh? Yes. Why? I can't. You can't do it. Can't quit. You can't quit. I'm finding it difficult to quit. Serious? Truly so. When did you drink this morning or last night? Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> uh, don't worry, you quit. You quit now. 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 Move away, little bit, sir. Alcohol is a spirit. Please, we're not. It's not because of you. You know. You know. I have to say what the Holy Ghost tells me to say. Sometimes I need to say this for people to be free. You know? You know, my spirit is sensitive like this. So I get signals. Hey, this one, this, you know, so this one, that, that, this one. So I, I, I'm like, I have already passed. I said, ah. So, spirit of alcohol, I speak to you. Don't worry. Spirit of alcohol, I speak to you. It does not belong to you. You don't have a right over him. You cannot destroy him. You have to let him go. I go back from, to the first day where he was offered alcohol. That's how you entered. I go back to ice, ice. I go back to the foundation of where he was offered. I'm there. He's about to take it. I confront you. Yes. Eh? You, you have tormented him enough. You have tormented him enough. You have to let him. He has become your slave now. You have to go. You have to go. Did you hear? I, I break your power over him. It's over. You cannot control him anymore. Amen. Come on. Come on. It's a spirit. Some of you drink, you think it's vision. Come on. And you will not come back. I see, a, I see a half bottle. I see some, a half bottle even in the house. You think he's going to take it this night? He will not. It's over. It's over. Did you hear? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Whether you're ready or not, you have to go. He will never take you anymore. You know, when a person drinks, it's not the person. An, an alcoholic is not the person that wants to drink. It's the spirit that wants to drink. Did you know? You didn't know. It's the spirit that wants the beer. When the spirit craves, he will go and drink. Any person that smokes, when the spirit wants to smoke, he will ask you, you go and you. You are the one smoking for him. He's using your mouth. Then he takes it. To, ah, like the drink here. Get me a bucket. What? For? Bucket for what? You will see.
you are about to you are about to come out now. Eh? It's a bucket for what? You are about to come out. Your spirit now. I told you your spirit. And you can hear me. I can hear you. Are you ready to come out? Bucket is here. Come out! And you will never go back there. Eh? Says who? Says us. He will never test that car. He will testify on Sunday that he can't touch it anymore. Okay, come on. Come on. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. That one on alcohol. Out! Hmm? Don't touch me. You must never ever touch me. It's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. I'm waiting for you. Come on, jump out. Jump out. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus wants you out. The bucket is there. Eh? For what? <laughs> this chap <laughs> I rumble it I rumble it come on I cause confusion there I set it on fire Your body is going to uh, down. Ah. Keep it down. Put it down. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Almost there. It's almost there. In the name of Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You will never go back again. Jump out. 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 In the name of Jesus, it goes, it goes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. The bucket is there. It's alcohol, it's alcohol. 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 That's this your stomach.
It's finished. One more. Now go. 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 In Jesus' name. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, I approve what my father has not planted. Everything that my father has not planted. Come on, be uprooted. Be uprooted. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Out! All of you are return no more. Out! Out in Jesus' name. All of you, all of you. No more Hennessy, no Castle Lager, no whiskey, no brandy, no schnapp, no. What, what's the names? All those ones people drink. Red, red? No black label. Johnny Walker, you are walking alone. <laughs> Jesus. Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us right here in the ATV studios. It's always a pleasure to have you. Now, today during service, uh, God did something amazing for you. But first of all, please introduce yourself. My name is Marty, Isaac Marty. I'm a member. In fact, I'm the son in CAC. Mr. Isaac, it's it's one of those deliverances that you've just had and God touched on a very personal, private issue. Would you kindly highlight um, the whole incident to us, sir? No, it, it, it basically revolves around my drinking of alcohol. And uh, it comes a long way. Definitely, it comes a long way. And it has been a struggle. It has been a struggle for, for the better part of my years being a Christian. And I think also it has been a cause of many unpleasantries in my, in my home. Um, and I, I think today, um, God just vindicated me. He vindicated me. Remember uh, how the enemy operates. The, en the enemy operates in secrecy. You know, we, we can come here to church, we can, we can appear to be nice putting on our suits, but there are these things that the enemy has a secret pact with us, a pact with us, to say that you can do anything but this one. We do it secretly, you and I, you know about it, isn't it? So that's, it, it has been part of what I would say a pact a secret pact with the enemy. But I'm glad that it came out. And, and I'm glad that um, um, the man of God pinpointed it and dealt with it. That is what I can say. Absolutely, sir. And um, you highlight some key points that I would just like to delve on. You mentioned that it's been a, an issue, a major issue in your life, as well as a major contributor of some of the things in your home. Would you kindly of shed light on first that issue and then we move on next to the what it would cause you to do in the home? Mm, look, I, I've, got, I've got, my wife is a down-to-earth person, a very nice person. Um, y you know, drinking it wasn't that bad in such a way that I would, you know, um, cause fights and so on. But I would be short-tempered, you know. I would have a short fuse indeed. That um, should anything happen, it would just quickly upset me. And, um, you know, I would end up being at loggerheads with everyone. 
but, but not to a point of physically fighting with my wife or the children. And, and that's the part of it that I didn't like. I didn't like that part. But other than that, I was just occasionally drinking. You know. And then when you talk about the secret pact, that, that the enemy had you on, literally on a leash. <laughs> How did this come about? What would happen? So why do you call it a secret, uh, secret pact? No, that, that's how I term it. Uh, let me tell you, it's happening with not only me, but many Christians. It's happening. Um, it's happening. You, 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 you become fortunate if you are pointed out like myself. Consider yourself fortunate because there are other people in other churches that are doing these things and um, they go to churches normal. You know, they sing hymns and they pray like everyone. But, but we know that on that particular day when God comes, these things are going to come to the fore. So I consider myself to be lucky that mine will not come out on the great white throne. <laughs> it has come out now. It's under the blood. Amen. Under the blood of Jesus Christ. Under the blood of Christ. <laughs> Amen. Now, now, sir, but we just want to take back to when this started out because when, 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 the, when the man of God, Bishop Dr. Ida Pirasite, was praying for you, he had to take, he had to go back to the roots, to the very day you indulged your first glass of alcohol, or rather you tasted it. We're not so sure whether it was peer pressure, but what was the setting like? How did this come about? Um, you know, mostly most of us in in my time uh the time of my teenagehood these things they started on school trips you know when when your parents pack um um some provision for you you secretly pack also some provision of alcohol for yourself and your bodies at that time so i think that is where it started and um, much more influenced by the companion, the companionship that one keeps. And um, from that time it went on and on. It went on and on until as we speak. As we speak, as you say, but then God has dealt with it. We thank God for that. But would you drink to a drunken stupor or was it something that you could control? No, 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 no. You know what? This thing comes with. Uh, I, I'm, I'm one guy who would like to do things decently. So I, I was drinking decently. <laughs> if, if I put it blunt, I would say uh, I was a decent drunkard. <laughs> uh, and and, and let, allow me to say this that um, alcohol has been. In, in our in our day and age, it, it, it has been idolized. Uh, it, that's why you find um, um, everyone they partake in it, uh, celebrities they partake in it. It's, it's it's a way of life, you know. So so there's nothing wrong with it. You, you just drink and you come to church and it's business as usual. Yes. Uh, sir, before we, before we close this um, short talk, would, I'd just like you to extend that, that word of wisdom and advice to a whole lot of young people who are very young and are about to indulge and try and into experiment with all these things. And at the same time, I'll ask you to just address people who are already in it and they want, they want help now. Look, um, let me start with the last. Um, people that are in it, in fact, let me start with the first. Um, people that would still want to experience it, I would say rather not. Because it's, that thing is addictive. You, you take a sip today, you might think that no, tomorrow you may not. But that edge, when it, when it grips you, 
um, you will find yourself on a continuous roller coaster. And rather not indulge, rather not take it at all. And uh, to people that are in it, um, you, you see, sometimes you can't give physical advice to spiritual things. <laughs> spiritual things are, be- are dealt with spiritually. So, um, like, like um, Dr. Ida Peterside said, it's a spirit. I would say they must seek help, spiritual help. Uh, because these things, they start in the spirit and cascade in the physical. So if they are to be dealt with, they get dealt with first in the spirit. And then you cascade to the physical. The physical is now the day to day. When the edge comes, there's that question what do I do when the edge comes? But I've got confidence in the fact that it has been dealt with spiritually. That's it. Thank you so much for joining us right here in the ATV studios, Mr. Isaac. May God continuously bless you and increase you. And we await your testimony and the progress of your deliverance in the future. Amen. Thank you.